Hello and welcome to Hands on Redshift for Data Warehousing. I'm James Cross and I'm a consultant at Calibri Digital. So I'm a certified AWS solutions architect. Uh, I've been working with AWS for at least the last five years, predominantly uh, in the big data, data architecture and data engineering space. Uh, on top of that, I've got around 10 years experience uh, designing and implementing Java applications. Uh, and my speciality is in serverless, uh, cloud native web services and big data applications. So uh, rest assured you're in safe hands. So let's take a look at what we plan to cover in this course. So we're going to start off with an overview of data warehousing and understanding what data warehousing means for the internet age. Next, we're going to move on to what is Redshift? And of course, that's a key question for a hands-on with Redshift course. And we're going to understand why it's so disruptive uh, to the data warehousing space. Next, we're going to create our first Redshift cluster and look at how we can connect uh, disparate data sets using that cluster. before moving on to understanding how we can really optimize Redshift for scale and understand some of the cutting edge technologies that Amazon have baked into Redshift uh, to make it so powerful and so performant. Next, we're going to move on to leveraging disconnected data uh, using a tool called Redshift Spectrum to understand how we can query data in our BI system with data outside of our BI system and actually do that at some kind of scale. And lastly, we're going to look at how we can visualize our data using Amazon's native BI tool called QuickSign. In terms of prerequisites, some basic programming knowledge is assumed. I assume you have a good understanding of uh, data structures and SQL as well. And other than that, really, the only other prerequisite is you need a computer that's connected to the internet, uh, along with obviously an AWS account and connectivity to that AWS account. So what are the goals for the course? Well, we want to come away with a good understanding of data warehousing principles and understand how Redshift goes some way to challenge these. We want to see how Redshift integrates with other AWS services. We want to be able to create a cloud native, fully managed data warehouse with just a few clicks. And I'm going to show you how to do that. We want to understand how we can join data on our cluster with data on S3 using a tool called Redshift Spectrum. We're going to learn how to optimize our data for Redshift and then join those data sets together. And lastly, we're going to get a good understanding of Amazon QuickSight and how it can help us accelerate our visualizations. So really that's it. This course is your one-stop shop, uh, everything you need to get started with Redshift. So please feel free to jump right in.